Westinghouse, Studio One. Westinghouse, the name that means sureness. Whether it's on the finest television sets made today or jet engines for America's planes, whether it's a product for your home or your business or your farm or your factory, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Interruption in tonight's Westinghouse Studio One presentation of the Nativity with the Robert Shaw Chorale. Let's turn now to our Westinghouse program and Betty Furness. More than skin deep. Yes, I think you'll agree that this is one of the loveliest television cabinets that you've ever seen. But this set has much more than surface beauty because it's a Westinghouse. Look, it has a huge 21 inch screen. Just think how much better everything would look on a screen that size. And behind this screen, Westinghouse has seen to it that you get the steadiest picture that you can possibly get today on any set. Because they've perfected an amazing new development called the electronic clarifier that completely eliminates all interference from the picture of your Westinghouse screen. For instance, in some sets at certain times, the picture starts hopping like this. Engineers call it flop over but you won't get flop over on the screen of your Westinghouse set because of the electronic clarifier. And how about this nuisance? Flutter, flutter, flutter. I bet you can hardly see me, can you? Well, flutters won't develop on your Westinghouse set either because of the electronic clarifier. And in many sets, streaks like this come along when someone in the neighborhood uses electrical equipment. But you won't be annoyed with streaks either on a Westinghouse set because the electronic clarifier gives you clear pictures that stay clear. With no streaks, no flutter, and no flop over in every area where the television signal is normal. And your Westinghouse set is all ready for that new ultra-high frequency channel, too. All you have to do is plug in this exclusive Westinghouse UHF receptor just as easily as you'd plug in a lamp cord, and you're all ready to enjoy that new channel in your area. And here's even more good news. Your Westinghouse dealer is making a special offer right now. He'll give you a bigger than ever trade-in allowance on your old set. You'll be pleasantly surprised when you find out how much that old set is worth. So take advantage of this wonderful offer. Go to your Westinghouse dealer tomorrow. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Troubled people in a world of war, be silent yet a little in this place. For here are mysteries too great to know, and yet a peace that passes all desire. Here is the stable, here the shepherd's fold, here shines the manger crib with holy joy. Here in this lowly dwelling is the babe foretold by seers and 
and ancient prophecies. And here the baby smiles. And all our night is filled with singing. We are not shepherds, nor yet Orient kings. The tale is old to us. To them, it was new. They came to see and stayed to worship him. Let us, like them, a while remain to worship here. Be silent yet a space. This is the hour and this the holy place. Within the dark Gethsemane of our years, the miracle of Christmas now appears. The angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace and bliss, our Lord God is with thee and has chosen thee for his. Of all women, blessed may thou be. What manner of greeting is this thus privily come to me? For in my heart a thought it is, this tokening that here I see. Nor dread thee not, thou mild Mary, for nothing that may befall. For thou hast found full sovereignly of God, of grace or others all. In chastity of thy body, conceive and bear a child thou shalt. This salutation bring I thee. And his name, Jesu, shalt thou call. Master of light, then, shall he be. He shall be God, and called God's son. Of his kingdom and dignity shall no man earthly know nor tell. doth wax full great. The time is nigh. The angel said, to Bethlehem must we hide. You see her where she kneels, sweet maid at prayer, for thee and me, and all men everywhere. Is not this thing from God? It must be so. If tis from God, to Bethlehem must ye go. And yet so cold. It is the winter while the journeying is hard for maid and child. Tis God his will. Even so, there is no ill. Good Joseph. Mary, say, whose child is this? Sir, God's. And yours. My back pain would I bow that I did doubt the author of our bliss until the angel spake and made me know. Forgiveness do I crave. Forgiveness, Joseph. Nay, such word hereafter never let me hear you say. Begin we now to gather our poor gear and such small weeds as poverty doth wear. To Bethlehem must we ride. There must be bide until tis done as God has made us here. Now these things befell in the days of Herod the king. <laughs>
rat of the red sky, full rapid I ride. Obedient thunders by thousands I throw. The prince of the planets, in the pride of his light, shall break forth his beams or mask them a while. The moon at my might, he musters the night. And Kaisers in castle bow down to my smile. All kings to your crown may clearly commend your law and your lordship are load stars on height. What traitor untrue that will not attend? Ye shall lay him full low from life and from light. What flagrant fate that he doth offend? We shall beat him full sore, the sot in thy sight. My lord, Sir Herod, king with crown. Well, speak, what would you now? My lord, I met at morn certain kings talking together of one that should be born and was promised to come hither. Kings, forsooth, sir, so I say. My lord, demand of him, I pray. Say, fellow, are they far or near? My lord, they will be here this day. Of one that should be born, I fear. Have done. Dress we in rich array. And each man make him seemly cheer, that no semblance may be seen, but friendship fair and still, till we know what they mean, whether it be good or ill. The place is Bethlehem, outside a cattle shed. O oh, will and God in Trinity, I pray thee, Lord, for thy great might, unto thy simple servant see, here in this place where we are kite in lonely case. Lord, grant us good harbor this night within this place. For we have sought both up and down through divers streets in this city. So many people are come to town that we can nowhere harbored be. There is such press. Forsooth, I can no succor see but shelter with the beasts. Say, Mary, daughter, what is thy wish? How shall we do? For in great need now are we led, as thou thyself may clearly see. For here is neither clothes nor bed, and we are weak and all weary, and fain would rest. Now, gracious God, in all thy mercy, guide us the best. God will us guide full well with ye. Therefore, Joseph, be of good cheer. For in this place born will he be that shall us save from sorrow seer. Then behooves us bide here still, here in this same place all this night. I saw forsooth it is God's will. Now would I fain we had some light, what so before? It waxeth dark unto my sight and cold withal. I will go now, get us light, some fuel fine, that all be bright. Thou mighty God, that governs all, since he shall be born to suffering, lend me thy grace within this stall. Receive my heart to his praising.
There were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. While we do feed us here now, think we on him that keeps our sheep. Call yonder lad that sits on the low and bid him come for the food we keep. How trow! Oh! <laughs> here, sit down, will I? Hurtless, I hastily hope. No man here shall drink save myself, the devil of the tope. <laughs> <laughs> For thou savest our sheep, good knave, take keep. And since thou mayest not sleep, call me to this sort. Fie on your loins and on your livery. Fie on your sauce and on your savory. All oh, boy, in God's speak, come eat a morsel with me. Then wrestle will we here on this green. That shall I never flee, though it be with all three. Oh, oh this lad lusts to be lame and lose a limb, merry wind. <laughs> oh, done. Begin we this game. False lad, fire on thy face. On this ground thou shalt ever fall. Thank and shepherd, shame thee I shall. Boy, lest I break thy boons, kneel down and ask me a boon, lest I destroy thee here on these stones. <laughs> 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 Is all this light here that makes so bright here on my black beard? For to see this light here, a man may be afraid here, and I am afraid. Afraid for a fear now, maybe we all now. Ah, yet it is night, yet seems it day now. See I such a sight, such a sight seeming, a light gleaming on a star. Did it strike me? God's might is in yonder starlight is as now it shines. Lord, of this light guide us some sight by that it is sent. For this night never was I so afraid of the firmament. Shepherds, of this sight be ye not affright, for this is God's might. Take this in mind, to Bethlehem now high, there you shall see in sight that Christ was born tonight to ken all mankind. Bethlehem, take me the way, for with you I fain would go. That prince of peace for to pray, heaven to have at our end. And sing we all, I say, some mirth to his majesty. For certain now shows it indeed, the king's son of heaven is he. came wise men from the east, who were kings in their own countries, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Lord, that giveth everlasting light, I love thee ever with heart and hand, that me has made to see this sight, 
which my kindred has covetand. They said a star with leaves bright out of the east should strongly stand, that marvellous it should move might of him who should be lord of land, that men of sin should save. And certain I shall say, God grant me still to have knowledge of ready way. All well and God, that all has wrought, I worship thee as is worthy, that with thy brightness has me brought out of my realm. Rich Araby, I shall not cease till I have sought what wondrous thing it shall signify. God grant me hope so that I may have grace to get good company. Lord God, that all good has begun and all may end, both good and ill, that made for man both moon and sun, and stayed yon star to stand stone still, till I the cause may clearly know, God guide me with his worthy will. I hope I have here fellows found my yearning faithful to fulfill, Sirs, guard you safe and see and keep you ever from woe. Amen, so may it be, and save you, sir, also. Sirs, with your will I would you pray to tell me some of your intent. Whither ye went forth in this way, and from what country ye are sent? Full gladly, sir, I shall you say. A sudden sight was to us sent. A royal star that rose ere day before us on the firmament that made us fare from home. Some point thereof to press. Certain, sirs, I saw the same that makes us thus to move. In holy books of ancient fame, tis token of God's love. Sir, of fellowship are we fain. Now shall we wend in company. God grant us, ere we come again, some heartening good thereof to see. which led us forth from out our land. Keep thee, Sir King. The most in might, I, Herod, King of Israel, stand. God save you, sirs, singly in sight. I pray you. Good sir, till morn a star doth guide that makes us seek one that is newborn. <laughs> newborn? Surely unwitty men ye are. To leap all land behind a star, this is a wondrous thing. Who is this lad? Sir, he shall be king. King? What king? A devil's name. Nay, I am king and none but I. That shall ye know if that ye crave. Lord Herod, we ask not but leave to pass in peace by this good hand. Whither in devil's name? My leave? To seek a lad here in my land? False prophets get ye hence. My lord. Where good sense stably to understand their mind and their meaning and take good heed of them too. I thank thee of this thing, so will I do. Now, kings, what is your mind? Balaam hath said a star should spring of Jacob's kind. Isaiah saith, a maiden pure shall bear a son, that of all countries shall be king. Emmanuel shall be his name, God's son of heaven. And surely, sir, this is the same. 
this lovely thing. Hosea, sir, a prophet proved, full truly told in town and tower, that a maid of Israel, well loved, shall bear one like to the lily flower. He means a bairn conceived should be without the seed of man, and here be born. Alas, I am lost. This wax is worse and worse. Let them go forth without thy curse, that they return and tell thee as they can, whether these tales be true. So will I do. Win forth, then, if that be your will, and may find fortune fall. Go see this thing, if good or ill. And come again to tell me all, that I may worship too. Surely, sir, we shall, you say, all the truth of that child in all the haste we may. If this be truth, they shall be slain. No gold shall get them better grace. Go we then, till they come again. Play us in some other place. Both God and man together here. Blessed may he be. Oh Lord, but the weather is cold. The fellas freeze, I ere did feel. I pray God help them that are old, and namely them that are in wheel. So may I say. Now, good God, thou be our shield, as thou best may. Lord God, what light is this that comes shining thus suddenly? I cannot say, as I have bliss. Prince of Peace, 
Hail my father and hail my son. Hail sovereign sage, all sins to cease. Hail God and man on earth made one. Hail through whose might all this world was first begun. Darkness and light. Son, as I am simple subject of thine vouchsafe, sweet son, I pray thee that I might thee take in these arms of mine and in this poor need to array thee. Grant me thy bliss, as I am thy mother chosen to be of soothfastness. Now welcome, flower fairest of you. I shall thee worship with main and might. Hail my maker, hail Christ Jesu, hail royal king, root of all right. Hail Savior, hail my Lord, giver of life. Hail blessed flower. Now, oh, Lord, that all this world shall win. To thee, my son, it is, I say, here is no bed to lay thee in. Therefore, my dear son, I do thee pray, since it is so, here in this crib I might thee lay between the beastest two. And I shall lap thee, mine own dear child, with such clothes as we have here. Oh, Mary, behold these beastes, mine. They make lowing in their manner as they were men. Forsooth, it seems well by their cheer, their lord they can. Their lord they can, that know I will. They worship him with might and main. The weather is cold, as ye may feel. But to keep them warm, they are full fain with their warm breath. But for their breathing doth not remain to warm him with. Now sleeps my son. God's holy boy, while heaven's angels guard on high. My God, my Lord, my blessed joy, thy handmaiden in sooth am I. all blithe and glad. Here is the borough where we should be. On that same steading are we now stand. Therefore will I go seek and see. Such hap of help ne'er herdsman had. Lo, oh, here is a house. And here is he. Yea, forsooth. This is the place. Lo, where that Lord is laid here in a manger of no grace. Right as the angel said. Kneel we down on knee, and pray we him of mercy and worship him worthily. The angel said that he should save this world and all that dwell therein. Therefore, a thought I have to crave, to worship him I will begin. Since I am but a simple knave, although I come of courteous kin, lo, here's such harness as I have, a barren brooch by a bell of tin at your bosom to be. And when ye shall wield all, good son, forget not me if any fortune fall. O son, that shall save both sea and sand. See to me since I have these sought. 
I am more poor to make for his end as my heart would, and I had ought. Two carpal nuts upon a band. See, little babe, what I have brought. And when you shall be lord in land, do good again. Forget me not. How oh, look on me, my lord so dear, though all I put me not to press. Ye are a prince without a peer. I have no presents thee will please, but lo, an horn spoon that have I here, and it will harbor forty bees. This will I give thee with good cheer, such novelty may not displease. Of other gifts, my dear, have I none for to give that is worth anything at all? Save my heart while I shall live, and my prayers till death do me call. Now farewell, mother and maid, for of sin not thou knowest. Thou hast brought forth this day God his son, of mightest most, whereof men shall say, Blessed in every coast and place, be thou memorial for me and for us all, that we may from sin fall and stand ever in thy grace. Our Lord God be with thee. Brethren, let us all four singing walk homewards. Unkind will I be nevermore, but preach ever as I can and cry as Gabriel taught by his grace me. Singing away, hence will we. Sirs, I see it stand above where he is born. Lo, here is the house at hand. We have not missed this morn. Whom seek ye, sirs, by ways wild, with talking, traveling to and fro? Here dwells a woman and her child and her husband. In truth, tis so. We seek a lord and yet a child. His certain sign hath told us so and his mother, a maiden mild. Here hope we to find those two. Come near, good sirs, and see. Your way to end is brought. Behold here, sirs, and see the same that we have sought. Loved be that Lord, that last for a, that has revealed so courteously our path by many a wandering way till we found this pure company. Let us make now no more delay, but swift take forth our treasury and range our gifts in good array to worship him that is worthy. Worthy this child appears. 
worship and wealth to win. And for honor of years, brother, you shall begin. Hail the fairest affair that folk may fain find. From the fiend and his foes faithfully us pain. Hail thou markest thy men and makest in mind, since thy might is on earth evil to men. Hail child that is come of a king's kind, born to be king over all as the learned have told. And since it shall work on this wise, with wealth of thine own will I pay thee, with gold that is greatest to price. Be pleased with this present, I pray thee. Hail. Food that thy folk fully may feed. Hail, flower fairest, that never shall fade. Hail, sun, that is sent of the same seed that shall save us from sin that our sires made. Hail, mild, may thou make us thy marked men indeed. And since our judge thou shalt be deemly, to hell or to heaven for to have us, incense to thy service is seemly. Son, see to thy subjects and save us. Hail, friend faithful, we fall to thy feet. Thy father spoke from the foe to be freed. Hail, man, that is made to all men meet, since thou and thy mother with mirth are met. Hail, duke, that drives death under feet, but when thy deeds are done, to die is thy debt. And since thy body buried shall be, this myrrh will I give to thy graving. The gift is not great of degree. Receive it and see to our saving. For solace, sure now may we sing. All is performed as we have prayed. But, good son, give us thy blessing. Fair fortune is before thee laid. Wend we now to Herod the king, his pleasure now will he be paid, and come himself and make offering unto this same. For so he said. Now, courteous kings, to me attend. From God himself, thus am I sent, to warn you as your faithful friend. Herod the king hath malice meant, and shaped some shame you for to send. And for your harm hath dire intent. By other ways, God will ye wend even to your own country, ye that have sought his son. Your shield, a eh, will he be for this that ye have done. Ah, Lord, I love thee inwardly. Sirs, God has goodly warned us three. His angel here now heard of I. And how he said. Sir, so did we. Far from this place he bade us fly. First let us flit from Herod's ill, each one to his country. 
And may the God of all goodwill us guide and with you be. King Herod, say what mirth may mend you. No mirth. I am disturbed in you, and blithe I may not be. Those wizards that he knew who passed through the city, did say they sought us way. But had these tales been true, they had come this way again. Surely they were beguiled. They have not told you true. They have not found that child. There is no king but you. They dare no more meet you. My lord! Messenger, come near. Are tidings have you any? Hey, lord. Since I was here, I have seen marvels many. I met two towns between, three kings with crowns all clean, riding full royally. As I hear that, say and stand. Hey, Lord, that dance is done. Why? Whither are they gone? Each to his own land. What? Forth away from me? Even so, my Lord. All three saw they this child. And made offerings mild. Fie on them, fie! Would they beguile me thus? Lord, by their prophecy, they named his name Jesus. Thou liest, thou traitor spang! Full high shall I make thee hang. Gone in devil's name. Lord, amend thy cheer, and be ye not annoyed. We shall advise you here. This child must be destroyed. Destroyed? Nay, I'll destroy. But where is he, this boy? Call soldiers to thy face, and bid them beat to death all boys that in this place have lately given breath. All? All. Let all be killed. With glee, my heart is filled. Spare none for your very soul. Let none go whole, though mother's dole do tear the skies. Where'er he be, this child shall be of those who die. And we may laugh at prophecy. Thou maker that is most of might, to thy mercy I make my moan. Lord, see unto thy simple wight that has no help but thee alone. For all my trust, Lord, is in thee that made me man to thy likeness. Thou mightful maker, have mind on me, and see unto my sinfulness. Oh, he thinks mine eyes heavy as lead. Therefore I think it best a while here in this stead to sleep and take my rest. Joseph, now am I sent to thee, Gabriel, God's angel bright, and I am come to bid thee flee with Mary and her precious white. For Herod the king will do to death all boy children that now have breath in every place of all your race. To Egypt shall you hide, bide there till this king die. Bide there till I shall say, you may all safe away. What lasting, Lord, love mayst thou be that thy sweet word would send to me? But, Lord, what ails the king at me? Against him did I ne'er offend. Alas, what ails him for to spill the blood of those that ne'er did ill? 
My darling dear, of thee is all my soul. Joseph, now what cheer? I fear me wrong is wrought. Warning have I of dreadful threat by Herod. Hard harms to have. The child shall die if he be met. There is no care that him may save. I say thee true, the king slays all boy children, great and small. Nay, hey, Joseph, who told you this? An angel bright that came from bliss, he spoke to me in sleep. To Egypt must we wend, that comely child to keep. From foes God will us fend, and keep us safe this day. Amen, as he best me. I pray thee, Mary, wrap him warm, and set him soft that he may smile. And if thou wish to ease thine own, give him to me to bear a while. God is our friend, where so we wend. At last, Shelley, my God, my Lord, my son so dear, to thy Godhead heartily I pray with all mine heart, holy and tear, as thou me to thy mother chose. I beseech thee of thy grace for all mankind that has in mind to worship thee. Thou see their souls to save. Jesu, my son so free, this boon of thee I crave. The grace of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, the love of God, the Holy Ghost's accord, rest with us all, and heaven be our reward. Amen. Let's look at our Westinghouse program again. 143 times faster. Yes, it's so amazing that I could hardly believe it until I saw it myself. Here in this new 1953 Westinghouse clothes dryer, we dried this winter coat. It's made of 100% Orlon, and it's lined with Orlon, too. And the label said, drip dry. Well, now, if we had drip-dried this coat, it would have taken two full days to get it really dry. But we dried it in the dryer in just 20 minutes. That's right. The Westinghouse dryer got it completely dry in exactly 20 minutes. That's 143 times faster than drip-drying. And as for the shape it's in, well, this coat has been washed in the laundromat and dried in the Westinghouse dryer five different times. Now, this happens to be a size 10, which is exactly my size. And as you can see, it fits just exactly the way it ought to. There isn't a sign of shrinkage. And the fabric is softer and lovelier than ever. You just never saw such a perfect drying job. Really, it was so amazing that the makers of the coat wouldn't even believe it until Westinghouse proved it to them. Let me tell you the secret of it. It's this exclusive Westinghouse three-way dry dial. 
that Westinghouse developed especially for the drying of smart new miracle fabrics as well as all other fabrics just the way they should be dried. Now you can set the dial at dry for complete drying of cottons and linens and such or set it here for the just right dampness that you need for ironing. Then there are all these other settings for the shorter drying time and lower heat that's just right and completely safe for those new miracle fabrics. Your Westinghouse instruction book will tell you just how to set the dial for each fabric. And no matter what cloth you're drying, it's a good idea to take it out as soon as the dryer's job is done. So Westinghouse has built a special signal into this dryer that croons a tune when your clothes are dry. See this amazing new 1953 Westinghouse clothes dryer at your dealer. And see the Westinghouse laundromat, too. Together, they're America's favorite twins. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Now, here's Betty Furness to suggest a gift for the lift. Here it is. It's so light, it practically lifts itself. It's the brand new Westinghouse personal portable radio and a lovely two-tone style in holly berry red with a chrome finish. And what's more, the A battery in this smart Westinghouse portable is just an ordinary flashlight battery. So there's no more running around looking for special batteries as you have to with other portables. You can get these flashlight batteries in most any store, and they cost only a few cents each. What's more, for the first time with any personal portable, there's a special power cord available. Now, you can plug that in right back here and use it on any AC electric outlet anywhere. Compact as this little set is, it's just packed with real Westinghouse power. It has a full AM broadcasting band, and the tone is really lovely. Now, this Westinghouse portable comes in rich brown and creamy beige with the chrome trim as well as the holly berry red. It's a wonderful year-round gift for a home or, or for a, a student, and it's a wonderful way to spend that Christmas check. Priced low at only $29.95, you won't find a value like it anywhere else. Drop into your Westinghouse dealer tomorrow and see all the other attractive Westinghouse radio sets, too. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. <laughs>